Now, as far as the names of nerves and arteries, there's good news and there's bad news. For the most part, nerves and arteries that run together are named together. That's the good news. The bad news is that there are some exceptions, which we're going to cover now in the section on neurovascular pairing. What nerve and artery run through the axilla along the thorax? The long thoracic nerve and the lateral thoracic artery. Be sure not to get the long and the lateral confused here. Now there are a couple different locations along the humerus where the neurovascular pairing is named differently. First, where is the surgical neck of the humerus? Very good, right here. The anatomical neck is right along the humeral head. Now what nerve and artery run here? The axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex humeral artery. Okay, where does the radial nerve run? In the radial groove, at the mid-shaft of the humerus. What is the artery that runs with it? That's right, the deep brachial artery. Okay, in the cubital fossa of the distal humerus, we have the median nerve. The median nerve runs with the brachial artery here. What about in the leg? What nerve runs with the popliteal artery? That's right, the tibial nerve. As the tibial nerve extends distally and meets the ankle, what artery does it course with? The posterior tibial artery. Now why is it called the posterior tibial artery if it wraps around the front of the ankle? Well, because it initially starts out behind the tibia more proximally. 